and welcome to an episode that deals with photography and its various genres. I am Sakshi Mandwal and a subject expert is Mr. Kumar Barun. He is a veteran photographer with seven years of experience in photography, graphic designing and photojournalism and is currently working as a senior photographer with FabFashion.com. Let us quickly run through what we are doing today. To comprehend the beginning of photography, to understand the historical evolution of photography, to understand transitions in photography, to understand the use of photography for various professions, to understand the various technical aspects of camera, to understand various camera controls. Introduction Photography is the art science and practice of creating durable images by recording light or other electromagnetic radiation either chemically by means of a light sensitive material such as photographic film or electronically by means of an image sensor. Typically, a lens is used to focus the light reflected or emitted from objects into a real image on the light. Sensitive surface inside a camera during a timed exposure. The result in an electronic image sensor is an electrical charge at each pixel, which is electronically processed and stored in a digital image file for subsequent display or processing. The result in a photographic emulsion is an invisible latent image, which is later chemically developed into a visible image, either negative or positive depending on the purpose of the photographic material and the method of processing. A negative image on film is traditionally used to photographically create a positive image on a paper base, known as a print, either by using an enlarger or by contact printing. Photography has many uses for business, science, manufacturing, example, photolithography, art, and recreational purposes. Evolution of Photography In 1834 in Campinas, Brazil, Hercules Florence, a French painter and inventor, wrote in his diary the word photography to describe his process. As far as can be ascertained, it was Sir John Herschel in a lecture before the Royal Society of London on March 14, 1839, who made the word photography known to the world. But in an article published on February 25th of the same year, in a German newspaper called the Vossi Zittung, Johann von Midler, a Berlin astronomer, had used the word photography already. The word photography derives from the Greek word photos, genitive of phos, light and graphe representation by means of lines or drawing together meaning drawing with light. Earliest known surviving heliographic engraving 1825 printed from a metal plate made by Joseph Nisiphor Nipsey with his heliographic processes. The plate was exposed under an ordinary engraving and copied it by photographic means. This was a step towards the first permanent photograph from nature taken with a camera, Obscura, in 1826. Precursor Technologies Photography is the result of combining several technical discoveries. Long before the first photographs were made, Chinese philosopher Modi and Greek mathematicians Aristotle and Euclid described a pinhole camera in the 5th and 4th century BC. The discovery of the camera obscura that provides an image of a scene is very old, dating back to ancient China. Leonardo da Vinci mentions natural camera obscuras that are formed by dark caves on the edge of a sunlit valley. A hole in the cave wall will act as a pinhole camera and project a laterally reversed, upside-down image on a piece of paper. So, the invention of photography was really concerned with finding a means to fix and retain the image 
in the camera obscura. This in fact occurred first using the reproduction of images without a camera when Thomas Wedgwood from the famous family of potters obtained copies of paintings on leather using silver salts. As he had no way of fixing them, that is to say, to stabilize the image by washing out the non-exposed silver salts, they turned completely black in the light and had to be kept in a dark room for viewing. Renaissance painters used the camera obscura, which in fact gives the optical rendering in colour that dominates Western art. The camera obscura literally means dark chamber in Latin. It is a box with a hole in it which allows light to go through and create an image onto the piece of paper. First Camera Photography 1820s Invented in the first decades of the 19th century, photography by way of the camera seemed able to capture more detail and information than traditional mediums such as painting and sculpting. Photography as a usable process goes back to the 1820s with the development of chemical photography. The first permanent photo etching was an image produced in 1822 by the French inventor Nicephore Nipsey, but it was destroyed by a later attempt to duplicate it. Nipsey was successful again in 1825. He made the first permanent photograph from nature, his view from the window at Legra with a camera obscura in 1826. Because his photographs took so long to expose, eight hours, he sought to find a new process. Working in conjunction with Louis Daguerre, they experimented with silver compounds based on Johann Henrich Schultz's discovery in 1816 that a silver and chalk mixture darkens when exposed to light. Nipsey died in 1833. But Daguerre continued the work, eventually culminating with the development of the Daguerre type in 1837. Daguerre took the first ever photo of a person in 1838 when, while taking a Daguerre type of a Paris street, a pedestrian stopped for a shoe shine, long enough to be captured by the long exposure, several minutes. Eventually, France agreed to pay Daguerre a pension for his formula in exchange for his promise to announce his discovery to the world as the gift of France, which he did in 1839. English inventor William Fox Talbot had earlier discovered another means to fix a silver process image but had kept it a secret. After reading about Daguerre's invention, Talbot refined his process so that portraits were made readily available to the masses. By 1840, Talbot had invented the cyanotype process which creates negative images. John Herschel made many contributions to the new methods. He invented the cyanotype process, now familiar as the blueprint. He was the first to use the terms photography, negative and positive. He discovered sodium theosulfate solution to be a solvent of silver halides in 1819 and informed Talbot and Daguerre of his discovery in 1839 that it could be used to fix pictures and make them permanent. He made the first glass negative in late 1839. Mid-19th century, Brady stand photo models, armrest table, meant to keep portrait models more still during long exposure times, studio equipment nicknamed after the famed US photographer Matthew Brady. In March 1851, Frederick Scott Archer published his findings in The Chemist on the wet plate collodion process. This became the most widely used process between 1852 and the late 1860s when the dry plate was introduced. There are three subsets to the collodion process, the ambrotype, positive image on glass, the ferrotype or tintype, positive image on metal and the negative, which was printed on albumin or salt paper. Many advances in photographic glass plates and printing were made in through the 19th century. In 1884, 
George Eastman developed the technology of film to replace photographic plates leading to the technology used by film cameras today. In 1908, Gabriel Lippmann won the Nobel Laureate in Physics for his method of reproducing colors photographically based on the phenomenon of interference, also known as the Lippmann plate. Black and white. All photography was originally monochrome or black and white. Even after color film was readily available, black and white photography continued to dominate for decades due to its lower cost and its classic photographic look. It is important to note that some monochromatic pictures are not always pure blacks and whites, but also contain other hues depending on the process. The cyanotype process produces an image of blue and white, for example. The albumin process first used more than 150 years ago, produces brown tones. Many photographers continue to produce some monochrome images, often because of the established archival permanence of well-processed silver halide-based materials. Some full-color digital images are processed using a variety of techniques to create black and whites, and some manufacturers produce digital cameras that exclusively shoot monochrome. Color. Color photography was explored in the beginning of the mid 19th century. Early experiments in color required extremely long exposures, hours or days for camera images, and could not fix the photograph to prevent the color from quickly fading when exposed to white light. The first permanent color photograph was taken in 1861 using the three color separation principle, first published by physicist. James Clerk Maxwell in 1855. Maxwell's idea was to take three separate black and white photographs through red, green and blue filters. This provides the photographer with three basic channels required to recreate a color image. Transparent prints of the images could be projected through similar color filters and superimposed on the projection screen, an additive method of color reproduction. A color print on paper could be produced by superimposing carbon prints of the three images made in their complementary colors, a subtractive method of color reproduction pioneered by Louis Ducot du Horon in late 1860s. The development of color photography was held back by the limited sensitivity of early photographic materials, which were mostly sensitive to blue only slightly sensitive to green and virtually insensitive to red. The discovery of dye sensitization by photochemist Hermann Vogel in 1873 suddenly made it possible to add sensitivity to green, yellow and even red. Improved color sensitizers and ongoing improvements in the overall sensitivity of emulsions steadily reduced the once prohibitive long exposure times required for color bringing it even closer to commercial viability. Autochrome, the first commercially successful color process, was introduced by the Lumiere brothers in 1907. Autochrome plates incorporated a mosaic color filter layer made of dyed grains of potato starch, which allowed the three color components to be recorded as adjacent microscopic image fragments. After an autochrome plate was reversal processed to produce a positive transparency, the starch grains served to illuminate each fragment with the correct color and the tiny colored points blended together in the eye, synthesizing the color of the subject by the additive method. Autochrome plates were one of several varieties of additive color screen plates and films marketed between the 1890s and 1950s. Kodachrome, the first modern integral tri-pack or monopack color film, was introduced by Kodak in 1935. It captured the three color components and a multi-layer emulsion. One layer was sensitized to record the red-dominated part of the spectrum, another layer recorded only the green part, and a third recorded only the blue. Without special film processing, 
the result would simply be three superimposed black and white images. But complementary cyan, magenta and yellow dye images were created in those layers by adding color couplers during a complex processing procedure. ECFA's similarly structured ECFA color new was introduced in 1936. Unlike Kodachrome, the color couplers in ECFA color new were incorporated into the emulsion layers during manufacture, which greatly simplified the processing. Currently, available color films still employ a multi-layer emulsion and the same principles most closely resembling ECFA's product. Instant color film used in a special camera which yielded a unique finished color print only a minute or two after the exposure was introduced by Polaroid in 1963. Color photography may form images as positive transparencies which can be used in a slide projector or as color negatives intended for use in creating positive color enlargements on specially coated paper. The latter is now the most common form of film non-digital color photography owing to the introduction of automated photo printing equipment. Digital Photography Sony unveiled the first consumer camera to use a charge coupled device for imaging, eliminating the need for film, the Sony Mavica. While the Mavica saved images to the disc, the images were displayed on television and the camera was not fully digital in 1991 Kodak unveiled the DCS-100, the first commercially available digital single lens reflex camera. Although its high cost preclude uses other than photojournalism and professional photography, commercial digital photography was born. Digital imaging uses an electronic image sensor to record the image as a set of electronic data rather than as chemical changes on film. An important difference between digital and chemical photography is that chemical photography resists photo manipulation because it involves film and photographic paper, while digital imaging is a highly manipulative medium. This difference allows for a degree of image post-processing that is comparatively difficult in film-based photography and permits different communicative potentials and applications. Photography – Different Uses for Different Professions Photography interests varied professions since it helps and supports, at times, complements or supplements work for different users. The professions which use and benefit from photography are A. Scientists – They use photography to record images and study movements of planets. B. Artists – At times, even painters have clicked their paintings or used photography to capture moods and emotions for the common man. C. Military and police. They use photography for surveillance, recognition and data storage. D. Amateurs. To preserve moments and memories or for entertainment. E. Medical. Doctors use photography to capture images of body parts by way of X-ray, ultrasound, etc. F. Agriculture. Farmers keep a record or check the varied land and climatic condition photographs are taken. G. Media. Media uses photography for modeling or even journalism, which is largely popular amongst masses. Technical aspects. The camera is the image forming device and photographic film or a silicon electronic image sensor is the sensing medium. The respective recording medium can be the film itself or a digital electronic or magnetic memory. Photographers control the camera and lens to expose the light recording material such as film to the required amount of light to form a latent image on film or raw file in digital cameras which, after appropriate processing, is converted to a usable image. Digital cameras use an electronic image sensor based on light-sensitive electronics such as charge-coupled device, CTZ, or 
complementary metal oxide semiconductor CMOS technology. The resulting digital image is stored electronically but can be reproduced on paper or film. The camera or camera obscura is a dark room or chamber from which as far as possible all light is excluded except the light that forms the image. The subject being photographed however must be illuminated. Cameras can range from small to very large, a whole room that is kept dark while the object to be photographed is in another room where it is properly illuminated. This was common for reproduction photography of flat copy when large film negatives were used. The movie camera is a type of photographic camera which takes a rapid sequence of photographs on strips of film. In contrast to a still camera which captures a single snapshot at a time, the movie camera takes a series of images, each called a frame. This is accomplished through an intermittent mechanism. The frames are later played back in a movie projector at a specified speed called the frame rate. Number of frames per second. While viewing a person's eyes and brain merge the separate pictures together to create the illusion of motion. The basic camera controls. It becomes rather important to understand the various camera controls. Therefore, we hereby explain each function one by one, namely focus. It is about the position of a viewed object or adjustment of an optical device necessary to produce a clear image which can be either in focus or out of focus. Aperture Adjustment of the lens opening measured as F number which controls the amount of light passing through the lens. Aperture also has an effect on depth of field and diffraction. The higher the F number, the smaller the opening. The less the light, the greater the depth of field and the more the diffraction, blur. Shutter speed. Adjustment of the speed often expressed either as fractions of seconds or as an angle with mechanical shutters of the shutter to control the amount of time during which the imaging medium is exposed to light for each exposure. Shutter speed may be used to control the amount of light striking the image plane faster shutter speeds, that is, those of shorter duration, decrease both the amount of light and the amount of image blurring from motion of subject and or camera. Wide balance. On digital cameras, electronic compensation for the color temperature associated with a given set of lighting conditions, ensuring that white light is registered as such on the imaging chip and therefore that the colors in the frame will appear natural. On mechanical, film-based cameras, this function is served by the operator's choice of film stock or with color correction filters. In addition to using white balance to adjust a natural coloration of the image, photographers may employ white balance to aesthetic end. For example, white balancing to a blue object in order to obtain a warm color temperature. Metering Measurement of exposure so that highlights and shadows are exposed according to the photographer's wishes. Many modern cameras, meters and set exposure automatically. Before automatic exposure, correct exposure was accomplished with the use of a separate light metering device or by the photographer's knowledge and experience of gauging correct settings. To translate the amount of light into usable aperture and shutter speed, the meter needs to adjust for the sensitivity of the film or sensor to light. This is done by setting the film speed or ISO sensitivity into the meter. ISO speed. Traditionally used to tell the camera the film speed of the selected film on film cameras, ISO speeds are employed on modern digital cameras as an indication of the system's gain from light to numerical output and to control the automatic exposure system. The higher the ISO number, the greater the film's sensitivity to light. Whereas, with a lower ISO number, the film is less sensitive to light. A correct combination of ISO speed, aperture and shutter speed leads to an image that is neither too dark nor too light. Hence, it is correctly exposed, 
indicated by a centered meter. Autofocus point. On some cameras, the selection of a point in the imaging frame upon which the autofocus system will attempt to focus. Many single lens reflex cameras, SLR, feature multiple autofocus points in the viewfinder. Many other elements of the imaging device itself may have a pronounced effect on the quality and or aesthetic effect of a given photograph. Amongst them are focal length and type of lens, normal, long focus, wide angle, telephoto, macro, fisheye or zoom. Filters placed between the subject and the light recording material either in front of or behind the lens. Inherent sensitivity of the medium to light intensity and color or wavelengths. The nature of the light recording material, for example, its resolution as measured in pixels or grains of silver halide. Recap Photography has developed as an art and science since a long time. It evolved from common photography black and white, colour to digital photography. Photography has become the favourite of many professions as its usage is varied. It is also something for everyone nowadays. An ever dynamic and useful profession, photography is here to stay. That is all that we have for you for today. I hope you enjoyed the lecture. Thank you and goodbye.